Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tower. I'd like to acknowledge the Warramai First Nations people. It's W-O-R-I-M-I and welcome to You, Your Guides, My Guides and the Universal Tarot. Uh, entertainment only using my gilded un uh, golden Universal Tarot. I want to have a look at uh, the Trump campaign uh, or RNC, I don't quite know who sent the letter, a uh, letter being sent out to all uh, Republicans that are camp campaigning for the upcoming November election, that if they use the Trump name or the Trump image as any part of their campaign, they have to pay a 5% um, fee to Trump's campaign funds, ergo Trump's legal fund. Uh, I just want to have a look about how I just really, really rip. I mean, that's how he made his money, by selling his brand, franchising his brand out there. It was all about brand. You know, we all remember Trump Airline, Trump Stakes, Trump University. Speaking of which, he lost he lost the Trump University case the other day against uh, those who got their worthless degrees. Have I got a piece of this? I've got a piece of fluff on me there. Uh, he lost that case and now has to make a payment. But how are the rest? How are the rest feeling about this now? Why are my half my deck upside down? I will just double check my deck because I don't. I don't read upside down. I'm going to pause you while I put my deck back up the right way. Hang on a sec. Sorry about that. Just goes to show um, how well I shuffled my deck. Took me a while. Um, it's very personal. I personally uh, don't read upside down, so it really throws me when an upside down card comes out. But my very, very first mentor, gosh, 30-something years ago, had said to me, there's enough negative cards in the deck that you don't need to, and it's just something between me and my guides. But as I split the deck to continue shuffling, we've got this collective awakening and then we have a real truth downfall about who they've hitched their wagon to. So how do, how do, oh, there might be a court case in regards to this to say no tough bickies, how do down the ballot Republicans feel about the letter of demand that they got that they have to hide? 5% of their, I wonder if he got the idea from his Bible selling, okay, give 5% of their campaign funds to Trump. How do they, feel? how do Republicans feel about this? Okay. Oh, they don't like it. I'm going to put it straight out there. They they do not like it at all. Um they're going to push back about, about this. They're going to push back on these letters. Um, yeah, not happy. Not happy, Jan. Okay. And there may be a legal case that comes forward out of this. It could also just be the legislators externally pushing back on this message because kings are about externally doing. This is about messaging. Uh, it's about careers. It's about a plan. Could this could the, the the challenge to this demand could simply be the the those that are running saying no, but there may also be a court case. Let's see where this goes. Oh, illusion, delusion, poor choices, addiction. Poor choices based on greed and addiction, and and trying to to emotionally cloud and you name it this is it's a poor poor choice sending this letter out to those down the line it's just going to cause more division within the republican party in the past a lot of headlines coming out very quickly a lot of messaging coming out very quickly and it's negative messaging so just add this one to the pile Okay, a lot of, lot of message coming here. Uh, we've got the chariot at the top, um, movement forward, slow movement forward. It can also mean chaos. Why did I just get told stalled? 
And I do know that there are two um, carved sphinxes here out of rock and rock cannot move forward and literally they're lying down and saying, no, we're done. I'm feeling this is this is going to stall. Okay, thank you. I'm drawn to the face here. Now, I the boys tell me to use certain decks because of the images, and a lot of time I don't look terribly close at the images until I'm drawn to them. Uh, the figure in this chariot does not look particularly happy. Uh, in fact, he looks quite angry about what's happening here, this movement forward. The immediate future, the Queen of Wands, uh, she's internally analysing this message, but the cat looks really peeved. The glare of the cat looks really peeved, but internally processing it. Okay. Externally, it's the emperor, my way of the highway, this is my party, I'm in control, you will do what I tell you, the dictator. Ugh. Internally, uh, they feel like that he's sneaking into their camps and stealing from them, basically. He's trying to steal from them, is how they're feeling. They're not happy. A lot of anxiety in regards to the sleepless nights, uh, just, uh, ju just disbelief to a degree. But, like, really, how can he do this? Now, here's the voter. Ending of an emotional cycle, families, but it's my card for the voter. Are going to see things differently. Sacrifice, sacrifice to the voter, sacrificed by the, um, oh, thank you. They're going to feel like they've been hung out to dry in their pursuit of the voter is what I'm getting because it's all about the money and the money coming to an end. Oh, boy, boy. It's a message about money. They're going to walk away. I, I, this is bringing up another question. Their naivety in accepting the gift of Trump in the past. Okay, what I'm getting here, what I want to have a look at next. Are a number of the rep Republicans who are running for office going to stop using, not even mention Trump? Are they going to choose instead? Because I had the, I had this, and then I had the uh, uh, page of. Cups, the out of left field. Is I'm okay, thank you. In response to this, there's going to be out of left field action here. Ah, uh, is this going to backfire on Trump? Yeah, because here I am back to the beginning again, trying to feather his nest. Uh, I think they're going to get a out of left field. Don't think so. By is this demand going to backfire on Trump? Is it going to backfire? Seeing a little trickle. It's like a little trickle comes in. So you've got the likes of Marjorie Taylor Greene, etc., um, going, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. All for Trump. And I don't think. Um, a lot of the Republicans are going to um, want to be any part of this. Okay, come on down, let's have a look. Is it going to backfire? So Queen of Pentacles, 
Uh, it's about stability, security, protection. It's about the holding on to the money. Um, I'm really getting it's it's my money. Don't you be touching my money. Challenged by the message messaging that they put out there, their messaging, their messaging is going to be um, diminished. Thank you. That was the word I was after. Their message, their ability to message is going to be diminished. Here we've got the voter again at the foundation. It's all about. Um, all about appealing to the voter, but we've got an end of a cycle. Now you've got at the top here again, Trump taking on the United States government. Government's got bigger pockets for the first time in his life. He's facing off against somebody who's got bigger pockets than him. And that's why he's always won in the past because he's been able to outlawyer. This time he can't. Um, in the past, this is a completion of a cycle an ending of a cycle, a next chapter. And I'm really getting that this is, it's almost like this is last straw type thing for many. Um, yeah, it's an attempt to, a lot of them aren't actually making as much money as they're getting the funds in, the, the campaign funds. Um, both the fifth column on YouTube did a video on this. I sort of half listened to it while I was answering all my messages from, Comments from yesterday, um, yeah, the YouTube glitch, I really got that it was an AI test that went wrong for them. They're not raising the funds they thought they would anyhow, so they're desperate to hang on to what they are raising. Uh, is it going to backfire? I think so, yes. Uh, a backlash, a harsh truth externally about trying to steal from them. Internally, an abuse of power. That, that's what they see it as, a betrayal, an abuse of power. And you've got the walking away in the background there. Who figures walking away at this bullying? Um, hopes and fears, contracts and agreements, but it's the two of cups. Uh, some will, yes, there's some will, but it's it's not the lover's card. It's a diminished uh, contracts and agreements card, playing on the emotions, the outcome, uh, the emotionally mature amongst the Republicans haven't yet revealed their answer, but I don't. I think there's some karma coming down the pike for Trump, and he's going to receive a very big message. From a higher authority, it may go to the courts to say that he can't do this. And then we've got heartbreak, loss, feeling of betrayal. Don't know if the, which way the court's going to rule. Heartbreak, loss and betrayal for those that thought they would feather their nest and are not listening. And a collective awakening to whom he really is. I mean, we've seen him like, we know what he's like mercenary actions, but there may be a prosecution come here and a lot of negative messaging for that devil. Secrets coming out, secrets being revealed. And then we have, so the internal and then the external of bringing a court case. Difficult decision about manipulation, an attempt to get contracts and agreements um, the light being shone, uh, and then we've got legal restriction. I think the courts will rule in favour of uh, those that bring the case that they don't have to pay. We've got the best, best of United States, the star of hope and healing. It's also a big yes card, um, but it's the best of the legal system for that for Trump is going to. He can't win it. In, he can't win at any turn. Um, yeah, I just I, it's it's going to backfire on him, is what I get, and I think there may even be set it to another court case for him. Um, yeah, I mean, there's some that will go, oh yes, yes, President Trump. No, Mr. Trump, ex-President Trump. Um, 
there's some that will fawn to him, but there's a lot that are going to go, yeah, no, over your dead body. Okay, see how it plays. Love to you all. Take care. Bye-bye.